Hello guys, so we are going to continue the shooter game, but this time we are going to actually add the enemy. So we are going to make a costume for the enemy. So we, this is just going to be a blink costume and there are two factors to what the zombie is going to have and that is going to be one speed and also its health so it will have a certain amount of speed and a certain amount of health based on what it is let's just start off with making the zombie run at you so we're gonna say when this is clicked hide forever and then inside of this we are just going to say create a clone of myself and so <clears throat> Now that we have the clone of itself made, we're going to say when I start as clone, go to a random position. We are going to point towards pick random 0 to 360. So this will pick a random view to go from all around him. And then we are going to move 20 steps. We are going to repeat until touching edge. And so then what this will do is when it starts, it's going to point in a random direction. And then it's going to go forward until it touches the edge. And then that's where it's actually going to look like it spawns in. And so then after that, we are going to show. And so now this is what it will look like. You see, they're all spawning in in the edge. So what we are going to do is we are going to say now, add on to this forever. Um, point towards the shooter. And then we are just going to like move five steps and so now they're all just going to be going in for me but this is this is this is just like a lot of this is like a lot of zombies so we are going to say if touching shooter then we are going to just delete delete this clone so now every time a zombie touches me it's going to delete this it's going to delete we are going to make it so that it knows how many enemies there are. So as you progress in this, it will actually put on more enemies. We are gonna make a variable called number of enemies. This is, we're gonna set number of enemies to zero. And so then when we start as clone, we're actually gonna set, we're gonna change numbers of enemies by one. And then once it dies, you know, so that like it says you created an enemy and so then when number and then when it dies we'll change number of enemies by negative one so now you see there's this many enemies and then once they die it goes down so then it's, it's usually going to hold around like 40 to 50 enemies but then we are just going to wait until number of enemies equals zero so this is going to spawn in like one or two enemies and then we are going to like if we die by them it's going to spawn in another two enemies and then if like, it's just always usually going to do two because yeah, another thing that we actually have to add to this is if touching the bullet, you know, it's going to do the same thing, but we are actually going to make another variable called score. So then we will go and then we'll set score to zero when we start. And then if it's touching the bullet, it's going to change score by one. So now see how score is zero. If we hit one of them then the score goes up but if they just touch us then it doesn't go up now we got to make um now we got to make the health and the speed change based on the enemy all right so now we have this where we can easily walk around and shoot people but now we are going to make the enemy a little more exotic you know we're gonna make one go faster one go slower one have more health you know how it is. we are actually gonna duplicate this because we just, we're just going to duplicate this thing. And so now all these different enemies, they're just different. So that is, that's it. So we're going to take this away. We are just going to throw it in the trash. Also, what we can do is actually delete the speed variable because the speed is just that right there. So we can adjust that to change the different speed for the different spot sprites. So the truth is nothing will spawn like this and but we want this to be randomized where a random sprite will come in every time so we're gonna go back into this we're gonna go to shooter because it's just it's just a it's just a blank sprite and we're gonna say when this is clicked forever we are going to wait pick random one to five seconds and then we are going to set zombies we're gonna set zombie to 
pick random one to three and so now if we show if we show zombie it's going to every couple seconds it's going to change to two and then it's going to change to three and then it's going to change to two then we're going to do another one that says when this is clicked forever if zombie equals one then we are going to broadcast and then we're just going to repeat for zombie two and zombie three so now you can see it's broadcasting different enemies let's move on to this for now okay so we are going to say when i receive enemy one we are going to create a clone of myself and then we're going to say the same thing with these ones but just when i start as enemy two and three so now let's look at this oh shucks oh sh shucks that clearly doesn't work because well um i think you can tell why it doesn't work we are going to wait a certain amount of seconds and but in this case we are actually going to wait until not zombie equals something and so then we can do this for all of them and so now this way it's only going to spawn in one zombie for each one that it chooses if we really want to make it challenging like near the extra hard levels then we could just wait zero to 0 0.5 and this would spawn in this would spawn in a lot more zombies really fast but that seems but that's too fast for now so we're just going to keep a steady one to five seconds but as you can see they are all still have the same health and the same speed and we don't really want that we want these to change so what we're going to do is this changes the number of health by negative one so all we have to do is set the health to whatever we want the health to be in this case we are going to set the health to one and then when we do this one we're going to set the health to two and then for this one we're going to set the health to three so we're going to say when i start as clone we are going to forever if touching enemy and then we're just going to add in a ton of or statements so it's going to say if touching enemy or we are touching enemy two or we are touching enemy three so if we are doing this is then we are just going to delete this clone but before we delete the clone we are going to wait 0 0.01 seconds and so then at that point we can adjust this the move five steps we can adjust that to be like different speeds for different characters to make them move slower or faster that is how you make the enemy in scratch thank you all so much for watching subscribe if you want to be a part of the gerald jogger and i'll see you next time bye